Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 164, NASDAQ up 41, S&P is up 8. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad, as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. You can reach T Teddy every trading day, folks, at forex-trading-unlock. That website is forex-trading-unlock.com. Teddy Kegstad, what's happening, brother? Good morning, guys. Pretty interesting setups in the currencies going on today, I think. No doubt. Let's, let's talk about it. Where do you want to start? Um, well, I know you like the yen, so how about that uh, little oh, rally we have going on? It's like a scary. balloon underwater, huh? That's scary to me, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at that yen. And what I'm talking about here, folks, is that it's at the top of its range, and it's like, get out of that range, man. That, you know, it, it failed, you know, almost yesterday, but that... That mm -hmm. 109.73 is a big number, you know, so. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So and I think what, the bull is going to stay there with the U.S. dollar yen for oh. a while. Okay, okay. So if that's the case, then let's see. I mean, what, that, that puts game on. And then does that, I mean, does that, that could put game on to what, 111 or 112, right? Absolutely. I, mean, I think yeah. those are very good price targets for the not-too-distant future, actually. Tom, that's not good. I, what does that do to gold? <laughs> that's not good they, for the gold market. Anyone's been folks. watching the show, they know. We got we to keep our eye on that gold contract, man. Holy cow. Sure. Okay. Sure. Well, yeah. I think that the gold contract, too, with the whole Middle East thing, finally subs you know, coming to a little bit of a calmness on Friday kind of gave gold a little bit of a hit. Yeah. No, no doubt. There's no doubt about that. And you know, it's, it's, so. it's intriguing, Teddy, is that... In my thinking, it's the first time that gold actually has traded like that in 20 years. You know, we've had plenty mm -hmm. of geopolitical events, but gold, you know, 20 years ago, folks, you know, you'd see gold run 20, 30 points both ways like in a heartbeat. And that's the mm -hmm. first time that it actually did it, you know, which I think is pretty cool, actually, because, you know, uh -huh. we'll see. I think it's just a correction what it's doing now, though. I think gold may long term might be a really, really big bull. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a bull. There's no doubt. I'm trying to figure out now with this yen. You know, like even yesterday, why gold didn't actually really get smoked yesterday. Do you know what I mean? It came mm -hmm. back to its breakout area. It held. It had light volume. But, you know, when that yen moves, you got to be careful in the metals market, man. That's the bottom line. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so. Is the, the euro is moving a little this morning, right? The euro's uh, nicely getting in a, a little bit of a rally there for the bulls. But I think that you're going to see a lot of... A lot of range trading conditions now in the euro and also in the British pound for the next couple of weeks because we have the Brexit deadline now. So today we have the first phase of the trade deal. It okay. doesn't really impact the European currencies. It's more for the yen. Uh, but definitely with the, uh, the Brexit on the uh, 31st of January coming up, I think you're going to see pretty much a tightening of the trade for the pound and the euro for the next week, uh, two weeks. I don't think it's going to be a swing trader's uh, delight at all. Okay. So the 31st of January, I mean, is this when, like, something, you know, really important is supposed to happen? Or are we going to kick this thing down the, the can a little again? Well, it's definitely the first marker on Brexit, for sure, okay. on the 31st. That's the first stage of leaving the EU. I got so, it. Okay. Yeah, and then they have to haggle out the, the trade deal by the deadline is December, but we've been watching Brexit now for, what, two and a half, three years? So <laughs> if it's anything like that, we'll be talking about this trade deal between the EU and the UK for years to come. So, But I think the interesting currency really to watch right now that most people aren't talking about okay. is the flight to quality going on in the Swiss franc. It's Oh, um, a, it's a bull versus the dollar for sure. It's slamming new lows. I think that's the driver in the dollar index. And if you look at the Swiss versus the pound or versus the yen or versus the euro, euro it's incredible. Like I have not seen a currency trend this strong against the other major currencies. And the velocity of the rally is, is just insane. Yeah, really? what happened to parity? Not anymore, right? 96. Wow, no. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think this is a trend you're going to see. Like, For the currency markets, it's really tough to gauge a trend for the European markets until this Brexit thing starts to get passed into February and stuff like that. Okay. But the Swiss, it doesn't seem to care. And even with the Middle East thing that we went through, it was just a speed bump. It just doesn't, it's a bull that just doesn't seem to want to stop at all. So you're at 96. I mean, look at those bottom of this consolidation looks like 91, right? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Like if you look at the uh, the Swiss franc versus the Japanese yen, okay. it's it's got a blow off rally going on right now. Does and it? the same thing is going on with the pound. Also, I mean the pound versus the Swiss, it's like a rock just falling down towards the just looking for a bottom. You know, wow. yeah. 
That's... So it tells me flight to quality in the Swiss franc. It's very, very strong versus all the global currencies right now, which is kind of weird because we don't have any real political fundamentals that should be driving it. So I'm, I'm curious as to what it is. This is not a technical rally that's going on. There's some fundamental that's driving it. Okay. And I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's interesting. So, because you know what's so intriguing about that too, really, is that, okay, if that's moving like that, then I might still have a shot at the gold market. Interesting. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! That's too funny. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it is definitely an interesting trend that's going on, and no, no one's talking about it. Even globally, I like I, I look at a lot of the currency crosses that are analyzed, um, you know, outside of the U.S., and no one's really talking about the rally that's going on in the Swiss. And I can't, for the life of me, figure out why it's so strong right now. Can you imagine what a Big Mac cost over there now? I'm gonna one of my best friends. <laughs> Oh, is Jay, he still yeah. there? Is Jay there? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's awesome. We yeah. can find out. One of my yeah. best buddies in Switzerland. I'm going to call him up and ask him how much he's paying. When I visited yeah. him, the funny thing was they don't, they don't sell uh, much ice over there because everything's so expensive. Okay. Um, so they don't sell ice because who's going to buy ice when, uh, you know, it's just too expensive to even buy over there. <laughs> but everything, everything, Big Macs, man, $12, whatever it is, yeah. Yeah, twelve dollars for a Big Mac. That's hysterical. I know. Yeah, <laughs> they don't have the two for five dollars special going That's on. That's right. No, they don't. no, no, not even. They close. don't have Florida prices uh, or Chicago prices for their Big Macs. Right. Yeah. And now, and now with that strength here, I mean, you're talking about monster bread here. Yes. There's no two ways about it. Yeah. You know, it's funny you mentioned the Big Mac too, guys, because there is a Big Mac index which they use for currencies, and I wonder how that relationship to the Swiss franc is right now, because usually they peg it to the dollar. Okay. But it's an interesting. It's. I, I know it sounds absurd, but there really is a Big Mac index that I you can believe use it. to That would make sense. There's only one McDonald's, man. I mean, that's yeah. a great correlation of, of real value, right. right, in terms of what you can mm -hmm. buy, what it's priced in, yeah. The only reason we have money yep. is to buy things, right? Hey, there's only one McDonald's, man, exactly. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. parity in terms of what's it, what's it cost, where are you going to be? My God. Yeah. So what I guess, they don't teach you in Harvard Business School. <laughs> no, no, it's real value, though. No, it is, well, Harvard Business School, that, isn't, that, isn't that where all the, the Goldman brokers go so they can pay a billion dollars in um, legal fees so they can get away with their frauds, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. They're all connected out of there, that's that for sure. That was a nice segue. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, I, it's just a nonstop deal with these banks. Mm -hmm. I was, it it's saying a little bit right. earlier, Teddy. Imagine, you know, if you're you know, a white-collar criminal and you did something small and you're all sitting in jail scratching your head like, oh, my God, I, sure. didn't, I didn't go big enough, man. you got to go big. You know? Oh, and just think about what they're going to do once rates start to really go up and the banks really start to clean up on making yeah, money. Wow. Yeah, pretty amazing. Pretty crazy. So, okay, so this week, uh, the yen, the yen's thing we got to keep our eye on. The yen man. is, the, it's going to keep pressuring the highs, I think. I think, like I said, the European uh, currencies, the euro and the pound, I think the next two weeks it's going to be a range trader's uh, delight and a swing trader's nightmare. Okay. You got to look at the yen and maybe the, well, the Swiss, but that's a trend trade no matter where it's going. And folks, uh, Friday, Friday afternoon, Teddy's going to be doing my show, three to four. So yep. stay tuned, Pet Teddy, I really appreciate it, man. Three to four, no Friday problem. afternoon. You have Thanks, a great guys. one, a safe one. Thanks, Teddy. Thanks, Teddy. All right. Take care. See you Friday, man. Stay right there. Tell folks Tommy and I come right back.